Welcome to CAD application class. Uh, let's try to draw this uh, caster wheel assembly using SOLIDWORKS. I am using SOLIDWORKS 2019. So in this uh, caster assembly, caster wheel assembly, you can see you have got one hardened rubber, hard rubber wheel is there and then you have got one bushing, then you have got one shaft, then you have got one post, okay. And then you have got one bracket. This bracket is made from what if you see here, this bracket is made from 13 gauge steel, understand. So 13 gauge is given in the bracket, the thickness also 2.38 millimeter. This means what I have to use the sheet metal module to create this, okay. Why sheet metal module? Because the thickness is very small, 2.38 millimeter is very small, this is number one. And number two, when you are bending, you have to provide some bending allowances also for these portions is this clear so we have to include bending allowances then calculate the profile dimensions then we have to use a bending tool or form tool to prepare this bracket right so let's try to start with this wheel so the cross section of the wheel is almost looking like an i section see here it is looking like a i section the width is 28 let's try to first start and prepare this wheel okay so let me just open a new part i am opening a new part so let me just go to sketch so whichever uh, figure i want i can take i will just take the front plane then i will just draw an eye section just to draw an eye section Let me complete it. Okay, this is done. So now let's try to fix everything properly. Now what are the things I need? I need to keep this one and shift this one, both of them should be of equal length okay and they should be parallel also okay so this i have done good then i ha i want this one and this one they should be of oh, sorry this line shift this line i want them to be collinear as well as equal okay done then i want this line and this line both of them i want to be let me do it this line and this line i want them to be collinear and i want them to be equal okay then what else is there this line shift this line i want them to be collinear good then i have this line shift this line both of them i want them to be okay done so now let me try to fix the dimensions dimensions from where dimension from here to here it is 28 okay that's very good then what else is there what about this thickness I want just one minute let me just take this line this line this and this all of them i want to be equal okay i fix this also now if i put the dimension for this from this line to this line how much i need it i need it as three okay done okay now let me go back to the picture and see what else is there from the center this is 514 is it not so this is 514 very good so this means from the center how much i want i want the distance to be seven i am going to use your revolve command okay sorry let me just go back to my from where from the center to this point i will have how much this distance i will keep it as seven okay i keep it as seven after that 
my next dimension is what my next dimension is this one from the center it is how much 30 30 means 15 from center it is from this point to this point it is how much from stash 15 okay then again from this center to this point it is 70 70 means half of 70 is how much 35 okay done and then finally the outside one that is from here to this one this is 100 100 means it is 50 half of it is 50 so everything is defined now right do we have any other thing to define but still the lines are all not black some of them are still blue color okay so what i will do now is i will just go here do you see here display delete rotations just go click on this one you see fully defined sketch you click on fully defined sketch it is coming here ask it to do the calculations it did the calculations put whatever dimensions are needed and it has defined the sketch completely it has become fully blank now. okay so what i will do now i will draw a center line from where from here i will just draw a horizontal line center line enter escape now what i will do i will just go to features revolve feature understand see the revolve feature already it has selected that line and it has revolved it i just simply say yes done now see beautifully you are completely wheel is ready now we have done this wheel okay so now you can see here i have the wheel with me it is completely ready now i can go and select from here do you see here appearances scenes and deeds just open this one here you have got appearances open this then you can see which is this metal plastic metal paint rubber it is rubber is it not open the rubber one when you open the rubber one you have got matte finish then you have got glossy finish then you have got texture so i will take matte finish understand i will take matte finish click on this one drag and so, sorry from here you drag from here and put it on this one so you see the color so just now click on this one again now it has given the color okay this is looking like a rubber wheel now see here beautiful hard rubber wheel okay so now the wheel is ready with us so what I will do now, I will go and save the wheel. Save as, I will just go here. I have already opened a folder. Here, what is the folder? The folder is, let me just move it up. Now I am on the desktop. Sorry, on the desktop, if I go, I have a folder. See here, caster wheel assembly. I will open this folder. In this one, I will call it as caster wheel. Okay. I will call this one as number one caster i have done it okay save it is completely saved so what i will do i will just close this one no need for this now i will go back see here you have got a bushing is it not bushing is made from what material it is made from brass brass is a soft material usually for bushes you will use soft materials okay so now it's a simple thing what you have got inside diameter is 8 outside diameter is 14 and the length is 28 let's make this brass bushing let me go back to solidworks open a new file part let me open it and then i will go to sketch smart sketch i will select this plane now i will take one circle okay then i have another circle okay inside circle is how much inside circle is 8 so smart dimensions this is 8 done outside one is how much outside one is 14 done okay click on this one now i will go to features now what i will do now extruded boss base right now see here either way you can pull it either this way or that way it doesn't matter how much i need 14 it's already there 14 click on this so it is done so this is one this is brass brass bushing i will just go and save as number two brass bushing okay i finish this one so after finishing brass bushing what is the next let me close that one let me go back to my picture what i have got 
I have got this shaft. I have to create a shaft here. So what I will do, so this length is 40 he is telling, is it not? Let me first check it out. So now this thickness is 2, 2 is going to stay outside and this total length in this bracket is how much? In this bracket this total length is 30 plus 2.38 plus 2.38, any 34, 34 point uh, uh, how much is? Let me go to calculator. So I have 30 plus 2.38 multiplied by 2. Okay, so 34.76. So this should be at least 34.76. This length 34.76 plus 2 is how much? 30 plus 2. Okay, and then will give you how much 36.76 and then here the length is how much he is telling the length is around 3 millimeter 3 millimeter is too small actually i will make it as 5 millimeters plus 5 so around 41 42 so i will have the length is around 42 let me see it okay so what i will do is i will try to make a shaft let me just go over here open a new file new part i will open it okay i will open the part then what do i need i need to go and make a smart sketch i will select this one front plane i will just go draw a line here just see here i am just going to draw a line here like this then going little bit this way this way and then coming down here then i'm going here coming down then going here little bit this way and then coming down and closing it okay so now sorry i don't need this line i don't need this line because there is no chamfer there i will just delete this line and then i will just take it up i will bring it and close them okay i have it this way so now what are the dimensions let me do the smart dimensions between this and this it is two millimeters too small okay let it be there and then uh, between this and this it is how much it is i will take it as five millimeters okay done so then what else is there between this and this point he says it as 40 millimeters okay let me take it as 40 millimeters okay now let me just bring it in over here so it is fixing here so and then again here he is having a chamfer see here 1.5 45 degree chamfer he says is it not so let me just make it little big this dimension this dimension and just go as how much 1.1.5 okay uh, angle is how much angle between this and this is if i go sorry angle between this and this it is 45 degrees i will just take it done okay and then what about this height let me just go back here what is this height this is m6 m6 means it should be how much three isn't it from where from this line to this line it is how much it should be three i don't think it will take so i may not be able to do the chamfer because this dimension is definitely wrong let me just get rid of this one delete it delete it okay first let me fix this dimension from here to here it is how much from here to here it is three okay then so then what else i need now i need this dimension this dimension is how much the shaft dimension the shaft dimension dimension is 5 7.5 5 7.5 means half of it okay from here to here it is 
7.5 divided by 2 okay this is done then what else is there let me go back to the picture and then this is 5 16 means it should be 8 which one this dimension that is from here to here it should be how much from here to here it should be 8 it will go up in here okay done understand so now you have got this one so what else is there now uh, he says 1.5 uh, the dimension between this is 1.125 between this point and this point if I just take it this is let me cancel this one Let me make it little big. Okay. Let me delete this one. The dimension from where? From this line to this line is giving me the angle. Between this point and this point dimension between this line and this point it is 1.125 okay now it, it took it okay 1.13 that's fine so now i have got this with me 40 everything is ready now so what i should do now i should just go to the features i should make revolve boss base okay because my axis my axis is this line the moment i take it it has already done it okay done so now everything is ready here now so what i need to do i need to cut a thread over here and then i need to provide a rib over here this is a new thing which you need to know now first let's try to make the uh, thread over here what does he say here it is m6 thread he says there see he says it is m6 thread one millimeter is the pitch okay and the class of the thread he has given i will go to where i will go to whole wizard i will select thread okay now i will just go and select where i want this is the line where i want see already it is showing me the thread i will make an offset also offset of how much one millimeter it is going inside i will reverse the direction of the offset and what is my total length my total length should be around how much the total was how much uh, i have taken five i will take it as three it is coming there it is not three i will make it as four rather 5 okay so it is going inside not 5 i will make it as 4.5 okay so it is there now i will tell trim with start face i will just do it and then i will uh, what is the size it is m6 is it not it is already there m6 into 1 i have to use a metric die yes because i am making it on the surface click ok see the thread is already cut nicely the thread is cut so what is the next job for me the next job for me is to provide a rib over here okay see here up check here on the top you have got a rib command you have to use this command okay fine so now let's go back here what does he say here there is a rib here is it not he says 2 into 45 degree rib he says okay what is the thickness of the rib let me take it as 2 and 2 and the width also as 2 now i will just go back i will show you how to create that rib command I mean how to create the rib okay just I will press enter so this is my front view I will come to the front view just go here go here to the front plane okay now I want to edit in the front plane so what I will do I will just go click here select from this point I will draw a line here then I will draw a line here onto the surface and then I will come back okay enter so i need to put the dimensions for this what are the dimensions here let me give this dimension as 2 enter and the dimension for this also as 2 enter so now the angle automatically becomes 45 is it not okay so now it is there so what i need to do now i will just again click on this itself i will just turn my Okay, see here it is on the mid plane understand so now i will go to 
I mean it is in the front plane okay it is exactly in the middle now I will go here and now go to features do you see the rib the rib is seen isn't it click on the rib okay now see the moment you click on the rib see the direction the direction is like this is it not so this means it is expanding by how much 10 millimeter okay I will not expand by 10 millimeter you can even change the directions also see here there are different extrusion directions see here if I make like this it is going to go in the other way okay so it was here let it be here now I will make it as how much 2 millimeter is the thickness of the rib is it not I will just make it as 1 because I want it on both sides 1 okay enter see that it is going up I don't want like this right I want it this way see one piece this side one piece that side right so now flip the it is showing me the direction is outside I don't want direction to be outside I want the direction to be inside I will just flip the direction see that the direction change here see the direction change okay I will just say just go ahead sorry something went wrong just a minute okay so let me just do the rip command again rip command it is going in that direction what is the thickness I will say I will say the thickness as uh, 2 millimeter the moment I say 2 millimeter It came like this, take it as one or two. Okay, the direction is there, the direction is like this. Let me say okay, let me see it. Hello. This sketch must have only one open profile. Okay. Oh, very good. So now I will just do it here. Just let me go and delete this one. Delete. I want to delete this one also. Okay. Let's delete. I have this line now. So what I will do now, I will just go to rip command. I will go to rip command and then I will make it as okay. Now I will change the direction flip flip like this I will say enter see it created it why it did not create earlier because I had drawn one line here and one line here it was already a triangle okay I had drawn those lines only to locate these points because I want this as 2 and this also as 2 is this clear so now what is the thickness the thickness doesn't seem to be 2 millimeters see here this is also 2 isn't it let me just go and click on this one edit it make this one as 2 millimeter see that now you have it if you do like this see here it is smoothly covering the surfaces all the sides okay now you have created this rib why do we need to create this rib we need to create this rib to lock this shaft inside the bracket okay otherwise along with the brass bushing it may rotate okay that's why to lock it we have provided this so we have to save it as what now everything is done now I will just go back and save it as shaft save as number 3 shaft ok number 3 shaft so I have saved it let me just close this so what is the next one I have the next one I have is the bracket which I will do at the end and let me take this one you have what post isn't it so now we have got all the dimensions let us start doing it so what are the things we have got over here we have got the total thickness as how much 9 is there and then after 9 you have got how much 25 and then 5 and total is 43 isn't it ok let us just try to do it there is a slot over here that is all let me create it let me just draw a rough sketch first now I will just go here open a new part now what I will do sketch sketch I will select different one I will just draw a line from where from somewhere from here I will just go up 
from here like this like this little bit and then uh, how do I go down okay I will go down straight then little bit inside come out go out come down straight little bit outside okay fine so let me just go and see do I need to do something more no nothing I think it's almost there okay so I have to join one more line here from this point to this point so that it becomes a solid part now let's give the dimensions total length is how much 43 43 on the top it is 9 43 from where from this line to this line it is 43 okay let's do it then uh, what else is there this length is how much this length is 9 9 okay from where from top to this point it is 9 okay done and then again from there up to this is 25 from where from here to here it is 25 done and what is the thickness of this the thickness of this is 3 the thickness of this one is from here to here it is 3 ok done this is done so now I need to this one, this one let me see what is the groove size he has given the groove size as 4 ok the groove size is 4 let us finish that one first the groove size from here to here it is 4 the groove size is 4 now I need to put all the uh, diameters now let us just go here what is the diameter this is 18, 14, 7.5. From where? From here to here it is. 18 means how much? 9. Then. And then this one is how much? Between this and this is 14 means how much it is? 7. Okay. Then what else I need? I need this one, shift this one and this one. They are all what? They are all collinear. Okay. Let's go there. Finish. Then what else is there now? I need to push this one inside. How much is this angle? And what is the dimension he gives? He gives me as 1.5. 1.5 means the other two sides will be 1.125 if you make the calculations. Let me make it little big between here and here this is sorry between this point and this point this is 1.125. Let's do it. Okay. And then make it little way. Let's put the angle also. The angle between this and this line. The angle is how much? Angle between this and this line. Between this and this line. What is the angle? Angle is 45. Automatically it will take. Okay. So now everything is ready with us, right? So yeah, one more thing. So this size, this size was how much? We forgot that. How much is that? That is a 7.5 by 2. Where from here to here, between that one and this one, this line it is how much? 7.5 divided by 2. Okay. 
done so you have the group everything is ready now so what we need to do what we need to do now we need to only go to features and make revolve boss base okay which is the axis just select the axis that's it sorry now go here select the axis this is your axis it's already done okay Alas. so your post is also ready see here beautifully it is done make sure that we need to do some chamfering somewhere it doesn't say any chamfering anywhere except the top so this is made from what material society of automotive engineers this is uh, steel i think that's it so now let's just go back put it like this now i will just go and save save as i will call as part number 4 post post okay so i have saved it as a post right so the next one is what the next one is to draw the bracket let's take that one up in another video then we will do the assembly together otherwise this video length will become very long okay let me stop it this is already more than half